According to a recent poll, five in six Americans admit to making impulse buys. The wild side? Almost all impulse buys are made in person, and they're almost always for the person making the purchase. 20% of respondents said that they were spending more than $1,000 on impulse buys. Now that doesn't necessarily mean you need to confine yourself to your home, but it might just be a good idea. The bottom line, slow it down. We as humans aren't rational, and we make some of the least rational decisions about money. The number of impulse purchases is on the rise. A study from 2014 found 74% of shoppers shopped impulsively, while in 2016, the number had risen to 84%. When we're emotionally overwhelmed, our rational thoughts go right out the window. When your brain is flooded with excitement about the latest and greatest thing you think you need right now, your prefrontal cortex, where judgment of long-term consequences are evaluated, shuts down. Great. Budget blown. While some can afford the splurges, most can't, and it's a best practice to hold off on the impulse for at least 24 hours. Can you convince yourself to hang on for just one more day? In that time, the impulse for most of those purchases, when considered without the flood of emotion, will be rationalized as unnecessary, saving you a boatload of money.